This presentation is called Algebra. It's really a review of what you probably have experienced before, and hopefully it will bring to mind some of the things that you learned. Fractions. Fractions are um, an operation. Um, here we have uh, multiplication of two fractions, and you'll notice we multiply the two numerators together and the two denominators together. Uh, division. Uh, here we would um, multiply A times uh, D divided by B times C. This is equivalent to flipping the D to the top and multiplying. So an example would two, be two-thirds divided by four-fifths. We would rewrite it as two-thirds parentheses five-fourths equal ten-twelve C equals five-six. Addition, we would have to have a common denominator. So if in the case where the denominators are already the same, no problem. So we can write that A divided by B plus C divided by B is A plus C divided by B. Addition, when the denominators are not the same, involves taking the product of the two de denominators and then um, forming the lowest, uh, that the lowest common denominator. And then the numerators would be a uh, the numerator the first times the denominator the second, plus the uh, numerator the second times the denominator the first. Or divided, yeah, times the denominator, times the denominator of the, of the second. Subtraction. A times A divided by B minus C divided by B. We would have to have, in the case when the denominators are equal, uh, similar to um, the addition example, and uh, finally, um, the uh, subtraction when the denominators are not equal. Terms are constants and variables that are separated from other terms by plus or minus. So if I write four x plus seven, we have two terms, four x plus seven. Terms can be combined, added, or subtracted to or from each other if the variables are different. Obviously, if you know the value of the variable, then indeed you If two terms cannot be combined, their sum and the difference can be multiplied by a common factor. Um, the common factor is multiplied by each term to produce two large new terms, which again can be combined. We use parentheses to write this operation. Um, this is 3 times 4x minus 7 is equal to 12x. Here the common factor is 3. Squares and square roots. Squaring a number or a variable means to multiply it once by itself. 2 squared is 4. 2 squared is 9. The reverse, or in mathematics, the inverse of squaring something is called taking the square root. This means finding the something which, when multiplied by itself, gives us the thing we've got. Example, the square root of 16 is 4. Square root of x squared is x, and we use this symbol, the root sign, or an exponent of one half, to denote taking the square root. Squaring multiple terms. Squaring a pair of terms in which one term is a multiple of x and one is a constant, which can't be combined, is fairly common in math, science, and technology. For example, parentheses 3x plus 5 squared. That means we have to multiply 3x plus 5 times itself. To do this, we must multiply each term in the first, 3x plus 5, times the, each term in the second, 3x plus 5. In this case, we would get 3x times 3x, plus 3x times 5, plus 5 times 3x, plus 5 times 5. Performing the four multiplications gives us four terms. The middle ter terms are always the same as one another, can be always be found by doubling one of them. In this case, our three-term result is 9x squared plus 30x plus 25. In this case, there are no common factors. The three-term expression is called a quadratic and is always the result of squaring a two-term expression in a multiple of x and a constant. An equation equalizes two combinations of algebraic expressions. Example, 2x plus 3 equals 9 is an equation because it has an equal sign. Since this is an equation in only one variable, 
and there are no exponents in the equation, there is one and only one value of x for which the equation is true. The question is, what is the value of x? To find x, you can follow these simple steps. Subtract 3 from each side of the equation to obtain 2x equals 6. Divide both sides of the equation by 2 to obtain x equals 3. Check the result by replacing x with 3 in the original equation. 2 times 3 plus 3 equals 9. 6 plus 3 equals 9. 9 equals 9. Solving simple equations. The most general way of describing the solution process of equation in one variable is do whatever operation is appropriate to both sides of the equation in order to isolate the unknown variable. Usually this is accomplished by combining like terms on each side, adding or subtracting terms on both sides, and dividing or multiplying both sides by a common term. An example, 4x plus 6 minus x is equal to 9 plus x minus 1. Combine like terms to, to achieve 3x plus 6 equals x plus 8. Subtract x from both sides, and we have 2x plus 6 equals 8. This eliminates the x on the right-hand side of the equation. Subtract 6 from both sides to, great, to even further simplify uh, the value or the equation for x. We have 2x equals 2. Divide both sides by 2 to obtain x equals 1. Now we must do our check, so we replace x in the original equation with the value that we obtained uh, in the process of solving for x. So we have 4 times 1 plus 6 minus 1 equals 9 plus 1 minus 1. And we can see that in three short steps we can find 9 equal to 9. And we know that we have correctly solved for x. An example, x divided by 3 plus 7 minus x divided by 4 equals 3 plus x divided by 6. Combine like terms on the left. Subtract 3x from 4x on the left and subtract 7 from both sides. Subtract x divided by 6 from both sides to obtain x divided by 12 minus x divided by 6 equals minus 4. This gives us x divided by 6 is equal to 2x divided by 12. So we have x divided by 12 minus 2x divided by 12 equals minus 4. Or minus x divided by 12 is equal to minus 4. Multiply both sides by minus 12 to get x equal minus 12 times minus 4 equals 48. A negative number times a negative number is a positive number. Our solution is x equals 48. Checking, we write 48 divided by 3, replacing x with 48. Plus 7 minus 48 divided by 4 equals 3 plus 48 divided by 6. Simple division of the terms um, with denominators gives us 16 divided by 7 minus 12 equals 3 plus 8. I'm sorry, 16 plus 7 minus 12 equals 3 plus 8. We have 23 minus 12 is 11, and 11 is equal to 11.